morning guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell today's video is going to be a perfect winter day in nyc i can't believe it's officially winter here the weather is so crisp i absolutely love it fingers crossed for some snow it's still a bit early for that but i'm hoping i can see it before i leave for my trip and if i don't i hope to see it when i come back as you saw i started my day with my favorite drink of all time which is a peppermint latte nothing screams the holidays like peppermint the first stop that we're hitting for today is actually radio bakery it is located in greenpoint i've had it one time before they're known for their sandwiches and their pastries but the last time I went, they were sold out of everything. So I had like their last piece of bread, which doesn't really count. So I'm hoping for better luck today. It's already pretty late. So anyways, this is the outfit for today. Of course, I'm wearing this denim jacket, which you guys saw me buy in Japan. I am absolutely obsessed with her. A pink tankier tank top can never go wrong. For scarf, this is a very special scarf to me. I bought this five years ago when I first came to New York. So it's a very full circle moment for me whenever I wear it. I love her and I wear it every winter. Now, lastly for shoes, it brings me to today's sponsor, <laughs> which is a seven or nine. When I tell you guys, these are the comfiest shoes I've ever put on. I'm not even exaggerating, I swear to God. I think that these shoes are extremely comfortable because they have something called air touch foam technology. Crazy. Advanced never heard of her but she is perfect for walking around new york city all day i don't know how they do it but i think it's because they put some sort of padding on top as well as someone who has more than 10,000 steps every day these are now going to be my go-to shoes if any of you guys are interested in this specific style this is the black coffee brownie boots also a trend alert i think that this kind of leather will be very in this winter time so i am excited to be walking around in them today anyways i have to head out soon because i have a, a lot of winter tings that i want to do with you guys or else they will sell out of everything again let's go once again down the block hopefully we can try a sandwich it is currently 11 27 so let's see how long it takes to get to the front of the line that was honestly such a fast line 11 39 and i'm inside got the turkey pesto sandwich and then a ham and butter rosemary sandwich as well and of course i have to try their chocolate croissant i'm sitting right outside the store i'm going to try the ham butter rosemary one first okay intersection check it's pretty good first bite <laughs> Mm. They do not skimp on the ham. Oh, right, this one is insane. This is a kale pesto turkey sandwich. I'm actually like a little intimidated to bite into this. Wish me luck. I think you're gonna like this one more because it's more like focaccia bread. And the kale is not dry. It tastes so healthy, but like not in a gross way. Oh, of course, I got their pumpkin spice latte. Really good. Whoa. That's a really solid pumpkin spice latte, guys. Time for the chocolate croissant. Let's see if it's better than La Cabra or Arsicult. Wow, that is really good too. Anyways, the review for Radio Bakery is that this is a 9 out of 10 for me. Next stop is Central Park. Back in Central Park, the main goal is to watch people ice skate because I can't ice skate myself. And there's actually so many people already ice skating and it's a Monday. <laughs> 
the ice skating rink was short-lived but it was cute seeing people ice skate now we're looking for bikes it's my first time biking through central park so i'm excited but also a little scared i'm a bit nervous but i'm gonna give you the electric one here give me your bag all right yeah hey guys finally it's happening i love new york but also why is this going so fast First bike ride in Central Park, done! That was a lot of fun, but my whole butt is numb. Like it fell asleep. Can't feel anything right now. Everybody should do it at least once. So cute and charming, so we're back again because we're just exhausted from walking around. And I was so thirsty after that bike ride, so got sparkling water. And I got a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate in question. The cup is always so cute. Thank you so much. Girl in her yellow dress. from doing all the winter things in the city. It's been a very long day because I am so exhausted. I will be cooking one of my favorite go-to winter meals, which is chili. It's so easy. It's all in one pot. The hardest part is prepping all the ingredients, which I went to go grab earlier at the local grocery store. I also went to Whole Foods, as you guys saw, because I really wanted to try the brown butter cookies, but I'm putting a twist to it. It is winter after all, so I got some candy cane and I'm gonna crush it and then I'm just gonna roll the cookies in the crushed candy cane. Anyways, I'm gonna get started on prepping the ingredients because that honestly takes the longest time. Here are all the ingredients that we have to prep. It should not be too hard. Oh no, is this a bad onion? No. Peppers. No, the garlic. Excuse me. Oh, the pepper got me. I made a horrible mistake. After cooking jalapenos, I touched my nose. And now I'm in literally so much pain. I just have snot coming out. Sorry, gross. But I'm using this little ice roller thing to pull it down. It feels like my whole body is 100 degrees. Mm. 
The chili is almost ready, and I have a I'm guest. I'm so hungry, <laughs> so excited. I'm also really excited. My nose just healed from the jalapeno. I'm gonna plate the food now. Be right back. taste test time. I really want to know what it tastes like. It hits always. Oh my god, this looks so fire. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god, fuck. I kind of ate. Why don't you try and eat now? Bye. After dinner with Emily, we had a very long girl chat, but she actually already left. And now we are moving on to the most exciting part of the night, which is always dessert. And as you saw, I went to Whole Foods earlier to get these brown butter chocolate chip cookies, but I'm gonna put my own twist onto it and I'm gonna roll them on top of some crushed peppermint candy cane. Should be super easy. Just throw them in the oven and we wait. Wait, I'm kind of impressed by the peppermint. I'm gonna let it cool for a couple minutes and then we'll taste test. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, look how, ah, look how gorgeous she looks. Peppermint is very subtle after it's baked, so I'm gonna have to see if it's worth adding it or not. I have my cup of oat milk. First bite. Oh my God, definitely taste the peppermint. I'm blown away. Honestly, the perfect way to end the perfect winter day. I feel like in the last fall day, I also ended the video with cinnamon rolls that I baked with Erica. So this just seems fitting, except obviously this is 75% less work than the cinnamon rolls, but just as delicious. I am going to finish the cookies and finally head to bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please comment down below what else you would like to see. I will see you in the next one.